Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Pavin. And I'm Adam. And today we are watching Demon Slayer Season 1, Episode 6, called Swordsman Accompanying a Demon. Swordsman? Adam. I have you we've been together for so long, you know that's how I say that word. I I didn't realize you said that on camera. Do you think I just put on an accent in my day-to-day -day life? Well you definitely do that because half the time you just speak in French for fun. Wee oui, wee! Oui. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue. <laughs> no, we need to set the record straight right now. Who says swordsman? That's not, it's absolute nonsense. How do you say, okay. Well, what do you say? Swordsman. Sword. Sword. No, there's, there's. Why do you think there's a W? No, there's no chance okay. that anybody agrees with you. I have a couple more for you now that we're on the, this track. No, we're not doing this. How do you say the second month of the year? February. February. We're we not, need you all to weigh not, in. Please let us know A, where you're from, and B, how you pronounce it. I'm very curious. All right. Um, anyways, I've been very excited about this. Um, I've been thinking about last episode and the sword he got from the swordsmith. Continue. Adam's, Adam's too cool for me right now. I'm not too cool Um, too. we were not expecting black. No. We definitely felt red, something with a little more flair, pizzazz. I was thinking sunshine yellow. No, he, I know why you said red, but... Because he's a son of the sunshine, and his, the tint is red. Anyways, black is pretty intense, though. So I think that's going to be a good thing, and as one of you remind me, you had a blue sword. <laughs> this is gonna be a thing forever. Okay, if I'm bothering you, sorry. It's bothering you. It's not bothering us. Um, Thank you, face. Oh, yes! Tanjiro is heading off to his first mission. Correct. The girls are getting snatched up in the town to the northeast or west. Anyways. Um, I can't help but feel, and you're not gonna be able to relate to this, but this is like the first mission of your character building RPG. Like, is the mission gonna be hard? Is it gonna be easy? Is he gonna learn a new skill? What's your prediction? I feel like he's gonna get in over his head right off the hop. My, my thought is it's gonna be tough because we're dealing with demons here. There is no level one. <laughs> but again, I'm not an expert. Um, so let's see. Let's see what happens. Um, Season 1, Episode 6 of Demon Slayer is coming right now. Too fancy. The scar changed. Uh, oh my goodness. We thought he was stylish before. Now he's got a threat on his clothes. <laughs> I didn't I didn't realize threats make you more stylish. <laughs> you know what that reminded me of though? Noya always has the slogans on his t-shirts in Haikyo. And that reminded me of him. This is a very descriptive title. Tanjiro. You have to explain to you about the first time you have to explain to you. Yes. Now, you have to explain to you about the first time you have to explain to you. 
そして、お前の持っている日輪刀、持ち主によって色が変わり、それぞれの色ごとに特性がある。しかし。黒い歯になるものは数が少なすぎて詳細がわからない。ジェネレーショナルタワーユガイズ。I そうだな。そうなるとわしも信じてる。はい。それと、これを。昼間、妹を背負う箱だ。非常に軽い。ガスロイスは。切り込む水という気で使った。クラウドミスパイン。ああ。外が多固めたので、強度も上がっている。あり
It's a rough start. What do you mean? He's not even sure what town it is. Yeah, they didn't tell him the town. Remember last episode? I was like, how is he supposed to well, know? I know, it's, I'm so old. It's a big town. They have like a guild house? What does and that somewhere mean? for him to stay? Is that. Oh, that's the guy that lost his girlfriend last night. I thought that was the guy that ran away in the... Mm. He died, though. What's with their eyes? I don't know. Good place to start. Mm -hmm. Do you think he saves the girls or are they all eaten? All eaten. I'm a pessimist though. You are right that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Surprise! That scar on his forehead has grown and changed. Yeah. I'm curious what that's all about. Yes. Do you have any theories? Because I'm thinking up some. <laughs> I actually don't. Okay. What are, what are your theories? I think it's gonna continue like to grow and grow and expand like every time he kills a demon and then it's just gonna be like But everywhere. He hasn't killed a demon yet, so why would it be their start? At the beginning? Yeah. Yeah, I wonder how it did start, but it's a different color now too. Yeah. 
I was wondering if it was at all related to his sword. His what? The sword. <laughs> um, like it was giving him. I don't know. It's like infusing his body. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I have an explanation for that. I was just curious. Okay. Because it changed like last episode, which is right when he got his sword. It's the only thing that I know that is different. Mm. And usually the artists are very particular. Oh, deliberate, yeah. yeah, with the decisions they're making. David's like the night. <laughs> Let Nezuko out to help. Right? Yeah. The reputation precedes him. The corpse. I was, I was wondering. <laughs> I was wondering if they would, like, enough people would recognize the uniform. Like, if the, if the people in town would actually know. I'm curious Well, everybody how... was staring like they had no clue what was going on, so I was like... Have they never encountered a demon slayer before? That's, that's what I'm kind of wondering, if they're... recognizable. Because everybody mm. was staring, because he had his face to the ground. He was sniffing the dirt. That was weird. <laughs> I would have been staring too, to be honest. Mm. But he's got the plaid. He's got the sword. Maybe people are whispering, like, Hey, is that one of the corpse? start snatching people from their homes. Yeah. They're gonna start Whoa The liquid demon. Oh my gosh. No, don't. It's gonna just absorb them. No! It doesn't even go up the cracks of the wood, it just goes anywhere. Do you think it's just gonna open up underneath her? You're about to be one of them, my dear. Yep. Whoa! I'm not gonna lie, I, I wasn't expecting a shapeshifter as a first demon. That's I have like so many assignment. questions. Hit me. The physics behind this is just not making sense. That's because there's no such thing as shapeshifters. Opens up around the bed, the tatami mat. Okay. Show off. The hands. <laughs> the hands come out, grab her down, and then all of a sudden there's a hole in the middle of the mat. How did the whole bed not go through? You know what I mean? Like, 
she, her body got pulled through, but not the bed. Yeah, it's selective. No, that makes no sense. And then, originally, I'm calling it a he, he popped up through the slats in the wood. And then he popped up through completely smooth floor. I mean, it's his ability. Adam's initial question answered. Is this going to be a challenge or straightforward? A challenge. Definitely. <laughs> He's going to have to draw him out to take a form to kill him, I think. You got the scent of that puddle, baby. Dude, I don't think that you're cut out for this. Like, go home. Legs are gone? No, I got a dress. Oh. Oh, phew. Oh. 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 Oh my gosh, he's grinding his teeth, like... <laughs> Mr. Kazumi-san, go home! Could take Mr. Kazumi and the girl. But why would it fight him right now? Mm. Amazing. Water breathing. seemed, I mean, if it's over, relatively easy. No, it's absolutely not over. This is the commercial break. No, I get that. Oh, I get to kill them. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> if the episode's over, it's probably easy. <clears throat> Forget I said that. Water Basin, that's a new one I had Water Basin, before. fifth form, eighth form. We are just, like, going through the progressions here. He had to really advance. I like the positive self-talk. You can do this. Oh, yeah. Also, were those triplets? Uh, we didn't get a good look at them side by but side. But do we, like, do demons normally work together? Like, that's an outstanding question. Mr. Okudaki did not tell us about that. No. I thought they were more Lone Ranger types. That's, that would have been my assumption. Like, Because, like, they're, I mean, the blood supply is What if they were, low. like, triplets or siblings in real life and they all got turned? <sighs> like Nezuko. You can't deny that bond. No. I'm also just gonna say that one is probably gonna need a night guard. 
um, with, <laughs> with how much it was grinding its teeth. That was like nails okay, on a chalkboard. It's literally gonna be tooth sawdust. <laughs> Enamel dust. <laughs> I'm like, she is work. I think it's a man. It's a high level of stress. That demon is working that jaw. Just those teeth. That's that was my biggest takeaway. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you ground your teeth. As somebody who grinds their teeth, it is not fun. So I can relate is what I'm saying. You know what? This sense of smell is going to carry Tanjiro far. What incredible problem solving skills. And it's going to counter the Black Sword curse. I don't think it's a curse. He said there just isn't enough information so people have assumed that it's a curse because it's so rare. He is going to make the Black Sword legacy. I thought you were gonna say legendary. That too. This is amazing. Napping. Kibutsuji Muzan. It's like Voldemort. Oh, well, she's gone. That bow was in his collection. Yeah.
Do you know what popped into my head? What? Seeing those three and seeing how they act. I was thinking it represents the id, the ego, and the super ego. Interesting. I the to... id being just like the base of human nature, the grinder. Um, the ego, all about me, the one who wanted to eat more, and then the super ego being like the more complete form Ration of... Yeah. Rational. I went to schizophrenic. <laughs> or that. <laughs> Multiple personality disorder. <laughs> Yours is better. <clears throat> yeah, so anyways, I just wanted to share that with you. <clears throat> oh, I like that. And you were making fun of me for enjoying um, true crime before. In the last episode. This, this creature is collecting trophies. Who else collects trophies? Hmm? You are correct. So anyways, that was just my but thought. But remember, I think I said serial killer last episode when I said girls were disappearing. Or was it you? Oh, I don't know. But you were you were like, no, you're going to like this because you're obsessed with serial killers. Yeah, I think that's what I said. <laughs> Concentration breathing. Let Nezuko out of that box, baby. She her legs. Yes. Woke up from my nap, baby. Oh. I don't know why he waited, he should have just decapitated him right Yeah, now. like get rid of at least one of them. Yeah, hesitate. He's all full of surprises. Yes. Oh man. That's a head sniper. Okay, there are a couple things that came to mind that I didn't say during the episode, but now that it's over, I'm gonna dive in. <laughs> so I feel like this is the foundation of the entire anime. Find the original demon. Yeah, and don't worry, it's like it's not too hard of a task. Just find the original, thousands of years old, and convince him to tell you how to change it back. He was kind of, we didn't get a close look, but he was kind of dressed like Beethoven to me. Like a really, you know, a high-necked blouse with a little tie, and then a long, like, coattails. That's what it looked like in that shadow. I'm, I'm, and I immediately thought, he's a, he's a composer. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with your description of what he looked like, but how on earth that got your brain to Beethoven? That, what did you think? I, I thought that demon looks very human. 
but I didn't go to like a 16th century composer. Yeah, they all look composer. human. They all look human. If they're like standing there. Anyways, Beethoven? we'll find out. Does he look like... Is he a composer? That's what the question comes down to. You well, know obviously he's maybe, not a composer, Adam. Maybe, it's too old. The composers aren't alive yet. Maybe it's a good concerto. The com no, we're, it's, we're in... This is a uh, real tangent. Anyways, okay. We're done. So those were my two thoughts. I loved this episode. I liked it too. I'm going to say... little. Oh, I definitely was not expecting a shape-shifting puddle demon. That's amazing. Oh. I cannot wait to see the different, like creative takes on demons we're gonna see yeah um rokudaki <laughs> surprising us left and right okay he made this box amazing he took care of nezuko also amazing but then he performed suggestive hypnosis on her okay teaching her that all humans are friends and all demons are foes this guy really went above and beyond on top of training tanjiro in the art of demon slaying yeah I mean, he really stepped up, I'd say. You might think we're recording this at midnight by this guy here, but it's not. So, <laughs> narcolepsy. <laughs> narcolepsy 101. I don't know what I was trying to say. I'm just, I'm, I get my strength from sleeping like Nezuko. I'm channeling my inner Nezuko. Um, 10 out of 10 for me, that one. I'm not sure what I, I, I kind of felt like each demon was going to be an episode. Like, I was, mm -hmm. I was expecting like a little story, and there would have been a conclusion. Well, given how fast we've been moving, yeah, that makes sense. But, but it looks like we're going to have a little bit of Demon, demon Saga a couple episodes. I'm here for it. Yeah, I love an arc. That was just my... That was my thought going in. Fair. Or my expectation going in. Fair. Um, let us know your thoughts. Did you love this episode as much as I did, or was it a snooze fest for you like it was for Adam? Um, let us know in the comments. And let us know if you thought Beethoven was in the episode. I didn't say he was Beethoven, I said that's how he was dressed, okay? Um, as always, we would be so excited if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned, baby, because episode 7 of Demon Slayer is coming next week. Thank you!